feel like you need to be doing like leg day really to be grunting. When is it tolerable? In when the bedroom. <laughs> Makeup and earrings when it's dangerous. I don't like it when it smells. When it smells? Yeah. What's the worst smell you smell then? You're like wiping your face against someone else's. Chase after someone because you feel like you're being intimidating but you wouldn't come into someone's house and take the TV would you? Turn around this guy's picked the dumbbell up and he's coming at me. He's to it. Yeah. What are your names, ladies? Amy, Grace, Jess, Steph. Nice to meet you, Steph. Thank you. Don't look so worried. My name's Emma. My name's Molly. Nice to meet you, Molly. Nice to meet you. What's okay. your name? Like? My name's Jess. Nice to meet you. Oh, handshake <laughs> as well. Handshake's in there as well. Alex. My name's Terry. <laughs> Natasha. Jess. Rosanne. Jonathan. And Hayden. First question I got through then. What gives you the ick about guys in the gym? The ick? When they grunt, they make noise. What way is acceptable to grunt then? It's not bad if it's not too loud, but we don't need to hear it across the full gym. Maybe the grunting? Every girl said that. Literally, that's every girl yeah. in the grunting. I think it's fair enough to, to do that anyway. Okay. But I just find it in the nick. I feel like you need to be doing like leg day really to be grunting. Just because sometimes I can, I've got sound cancelling headphones in and I can still... <laughs> I think it's, you need to complain to that company then. Yeah. <laughs> I see people that go to the gym with sliders on. I don't know why they do it. It just really, really oh, yeah, me. sliders. Doing pointless exercises in certain areas uh, to get attention. I don't know people are doing it on purpose because they need attention, but um, each of their own, if guys give the attention, then they're the, one, they're the weak ones, aren't they? So. Oh, the grunting noises. Every girl said that. Really big ick. It's disgusting. Is it because of the weight or because of the noise or just... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just the noise. Really, really, don't, yeah, don't, don't do it, please. Okay, when is it tolerable? In when the bedroom. <laughs> sandals. Slip -lock. Sandals? Yeah. Who wears sandals in the oh, gym? Sliders. Can't stand it. The serious guys don't wear sliders. Most guys, wear, well, in my gym, wear sliders. What gym do you go to? Okay, what town is it? Let's not say gym, let's say what town. <laughs> uh, Durham. Poses. <laughs> Oh, grunters. Oh, I don't mind a grunt. Do you like the grunt? I can't stand a guy posing in his little pants. Sorry. Well, that's what half the guys here are doing. I know, sorry. <laughs> when they ask you if you need any help. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> the one. Well, so, maybe need some help. help. Do I need some help? Maybe need some help. No. No, no I said, do you need some help? Do you know just to talk to you? Do you know, like, one oh, of them ones? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't know what you're doing. The ones that make it obvious that they're very, like, they're basically not training, they're just goggling. Yeah, he's kind of like, come on lads. Do you get a lot of guys going to the gym that don't train, just stand there just talking and stuff? Uh, yeah, you do find it, but it depends what gym you go to. You've got like some of your mainstream gyms that yeah, are find yeah. it the worst. Pure you gym. More, you, yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Is that Sorry, pure gym. Sorry. Too much makeup. Okay, you find too much. Like, eyelashes, black eyes. The eyelashes are a bit mud. Compression leggings with like shorts over the top. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a big one. Yeah, like <laughs> I've that. seen a few guys wear that. With no legs. Guys that don't train legs. That's also a massive ick. Yeah. Makeup and earrings when it's dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. You get earring caught on a, on a pin or you could get catch it. Anything can happen. Yeah. Makeup, yeah. And the gym's there to train, not to not, not a fashion show. Okay, define too much makeup. So some other brother said, yo, bare makeup. Like, elaborate. They're going to elaborate. Like what though? Makeup full stop. Really like disturbing grunts each, okay. each round. When is it when is it acceptable then? Like what or what weight can you say okay? It'll squeal but then it's just like that proper uh oh, that like you know echoes throughout the whole gym. But like what weight are we talking? What weight? Well it depends and on the size of the person. Yeah like if a guy's grunting a 200 kilo squat is that, is that acceptable? Yeah I, I find yeah. that accept I think they're training hard if they're grunting. Okay yeah. what's not acceptable then? I mean like <laughs> I don't know. When it's one like, plate? When it, yeah, like one plate. It's just grunting. Oh yeah, that, that would give me the ick too. Yeah. Oh, I'll take Crocs. Crocs to the gym. If I see Crocs. Yeah. Crocs? Yeah. Nah. I've, I've seen guys in Crocs, yeah. Have you got any gains though? No. What's a weight not acceptable for grunting? It's definitely one plate on each side. Lads, one plate is a no-go, yeah. What is your gym peeve? Not being able to get on the machines I want. And then like, in between the set, when someone comes and uses your machine, without even asking if it does. So I don't like it when it smells. When it smells? Yeah. What's the worst smell you smell then? It's just sweat. People are asking you how many sets they want to use the machine after you, okay. or like the weights or something. Does it annoy you when they stand there as well? You see, I've got three sets and they're like that. Yeah, I would rather be like, okay, I've got two sets left, and they're like, okay, I'll come back, I'm like, I'll come and get you once it's done. But then sometimes they're like this. People not racking the weights back up. Do you get that all the time? 
pretty much. People not putting weights back. Biggie, or unracking the weights if you leave, if you're doing like a 200 leg squat, yeah. take it off, even if you just leave 25, and I think it's just a bit disrespectful, in my personal opinion. Oh, when people don't clean after themselves, it's all sweaty, all the machines are sweaty. That's right, grimy, isn't it? Define hugging then. How many sets are talking? Um, 25 plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah you've been on the machine for ages, let someone else have a go. Yeah. Should we get guys, we ask them how many sets you got if the guys are 20 minutes. No. Yeah. Arrogancy. Right. Yeah. People who've been educated about things and they don't, or people that come up and approach me, yeah. ask me questions while I'm training. Like you, text them on them. Yeah. So I, I'm able and I'm willing to talk to you after the training, but while I'm training, and you can see I'm in a set. Leave me be. Do you ever get guys where you like doing like a set or something, muscle on top of your shoulder? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just leave me be. Yeah, I'm in my zone, I've got my thing, and I'm doing, you know what I mean? What's the worst story you got about that? The worst instance, what did that to you? Someone asking me what set I am when I'm bench pressing to 190 kg. I'd be pissed, bro. Yeah, and I can't even communicate because I'm trying to get that last one up. Do the mother like that, like 100 yeah. kg? Yeah, yeah. Um, people hog in machines for too long and just like sitting on their phone. About 20 sets? Yeah. Okay. I'd say people that leave the weights on the machines. Yeah. It's like put them back because the amount of time that I spend walking around the gym trying to find like a, a certain weight that I need. I feel you People that sweat on the machines and then don't like mop up their sweat up. Yeah. That's horrendous. And the gel on there and they walk yeah. away like, okay. I know, cool. yeah. Yeah. And you're like wiping your face against someone else's sweat. That's it, girl. It's not okay. <laughs> I do sometimes train at JD. Um, when I'm at law, oh. and there's a lot that pisses me off there, so I'll be here, I'll be there give for an me, hour. <laughs> give me a, give me an example. Okay, then. I'll give you an example. So my okay, yeah, this is a good one. So as an example, if you're on a step machine, yeah. um, I always like to prepare uh, what I'm training. So if I'm doing chest, I'll always make sure that the weights are on the machine ready okay. to go, so I can stack it accordingly when I'm ready to go up and yeah. down. People just come over to you, they just take your weights off your machine, like they come into your house and take your TV off. I'd be uh, pissed. Mad. But it, it's a normal thing, it happens all the time. So it's very difficult to kind of chase after someone because you feel like you're being intimidating, but you wouldn't come into someone's house and take the TV, would you? Yeah. But unfortunately, I do feel like different gyms have got different morals. I'm putting a show on for the camera. Oh, like flexing in the mirror and stuff? Yeah, like if there's a camera out, everyone, again, the front end, they're flexing. Do you take videos of Jimmy Sells? No, I have to for my job. Oh, okay, for your job, yeah. No, I do. Right, the guy on the machine, he said jump in. You know what he means, isn't it? Let me know what Instagram is, your Snapchat. You know how it is, isn't it, you know? So do you train here often? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a guy ask you for your Instagram or Snap or anything while you've been in the gym? Yeah. Not like, not, not in that way. Well, why, is that why guys I don't ask? know. I, I thought it was just because they wanted some like tips. What's your worst gym story? Like about yourself or anybody? Yeah, it's quite funny. I used to own a gym myself. Alright. Um, and I decided to watch YouTube and Facebook and get gas that there was a person I did 190 kg. Okay. And I used, attempted to do that on my own and got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I had to I had to flick it down and then get a 999 and down them. Oh well, that was yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a girl I know recently tried to do her first, I'm not even sure what it's called. Basically she just dropped an overhead bar on herself. I remember a fight kicked off because a guy thought another guy was looking at him really rudely and I laughed and I had my headphone in and I laughed. Turned around this guy's picked a dumbbell up and he's coming at me. He's looking to it. Yeah. <laughs> so a full on brawl in the gym? Yeah he's like full on void rage, got a little six kg dumbbell coming at me and I was like oh my god. I was on the treadmill. I've gone to put something in the bin, come back and I forgot I left it on. I was like, wait! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, everyone in the gym, that's about it, yeah. That's all I can tell.